All right, we'll finish things up here with Bella Cravens, who had her first double-double as a Husker tonight with 13 points and 11 rebounds to go along with three block shots. Questions for Bella, and we will start with Abby Barmore from the Omaha World Herald. Hi, Bella. Good game today. Um, so Kate just said that you had a monster block, and that is super exciting, especially because she is the leading blocker in Nebraska history. What does that mean to you to be able to learn from her and then also get this compliment from her? Um, it really means a lot. Kate is our lone senior on the team, and she's – I love playing with her. I love playing with this group right here, but Kate brings a lot of leadership and experience. She's been in the – this program the longest out of everybody so she really knows it like the back of her hand and just for her to say that and for her to say that she trusts me it really means a lot. Bella at the start of the game Wisconsin was getting to the boards a little bit more especially early and then it seemed like your defense and your rebounding tightened up and you guys were able to get out and run a little bit can you talk about that first quarter a little bit and how important it was to take control of the glass early? Um, the first quarter, personally, I feel like I just came out slow. And with the limited bodies that we do have, um, it's just we can't do that. So I guess midway through second, third quarter, it was kind of just like a slap in the face that I really pride myself on my rebounding. So I guess it was just I think I just, just clicked that uh -huh. somebody's got to go get the boards and why not me? In the third quarter, too, you guys came out and obviously with a focus to pound it inside and to get you and Kate really going and just not settle for three-pointers or not settle for tough shots, but to go inside. And mm -hmm. and I think at one point, like you and Kate, Nani might have combined for 13 in a row to start the quarter and get you guys out. Um, did you – was that a focus at halftime to say, let's pound it inside if it's there? Oh, yeah, definitely. That's a focus almost every game. And another thing I love is just that all of our guards are always looking in. So it makes it a lot easier for us when they deliver the perfect pass. Um, but definitely at halftime, we wanted to take advantage of our size and just because they went small to um, help them on offense. So we took advantage of it. In the first half, you guys were able to hold – Amani Lewis really in check mm -hmm. and in the second half as is Amani Lewis's history really she'll get going right and how much do you feel like maybe you learned from guarding her one time around now rather than just seeing her on film mm -hmm. but understanding maybe some things that a player like her or a player similar to her can do damage with shot fakes and you know two dribble drives and pull-ups and stuff like that um Something that I learned, she's a great player. She really is. Um, but one thing that I really take away is just that not really letting up. And I feel like as a whole team, we kind of did that today. Um, I think we were up at like 26 by one point. Um, so I feel like we kind of just got comfortable, kind of just went through the motions. But taking from her, she just didn't give up. She got to the foul line. She kept driving, kept driving in. I think that's what, what I would take away from her game is just that she kept playing regardless of the score and regardless of the half she had in the beginning. It was almost like it didn't even phase her. So, yeah. Any other questions for Bella? All right. If we don't have anything for Bella, we'll finish things up here. Thanks for your coverage tonight. And uh, we will see you back here the week of February 10th when Nebraska takes on Iowa. Thank you.